Did you know that the inspiration for Velcro are burrs? You know those little prickly weeds that stick to your clothes? Well, that's just one example of how nature can solve some of our planet's problems. Here's our Alison Vushnik. In our oceans swim possible solutions to some of the planet's most pressing concerns. Sharks could prevent deadly superbugs, and whales could be the key to conserving precious energy resources. Drawing lessons from nature in a science called biomimicry, researchers, engineers, and designers hope to answer these challenges with some unconventional thinking. The whole area of biomimicry is growing rapidly, exponentially. Dr. Anthony Brennan, a University of Florida professor, was trying to solve a problem for the U.S. Navy. It's called fouling. The hulls of naval vessels are often covered in algae and barnacles. This creates resistance and drag in the water, slowing the ships down and costing millions of dollars every year in wasted fuel. It's interesting when you start looking at it, but turtles and oysters, everything is fouled that's in the marine environment except the shark. Sharks, even though they move slowly, stay clean. Practically unheard of in the marine species world. So why don't they have the same kind of stuff sticking to them? The answer can be found in their special skin and denticles, tiny natural ridges that act as a barrier. This discovery led to this sharklet. So this diamond shape represents the denticle. A special coating or surface that mimics shark scales. It's the idea that their skin is composed of a series of these little denticles that are all connected through the skin and each one of them is like a mushroom shape. Borrowing the shape to create a coating for ships. I would definitely say that I've, my eyes have been opened by this whole process. Sharks are 400 million years of evolutionary development. You can see that there's a tremendous amount of knowledge locked in. So the coating means ships will potentially save fuel, but that's not all. It could also save your life. At this hospital in Denver, they're testing a new sharklet film, putting it on call buttons, door handles, you name it. It contains the sharklet pattern. And the way it really works is it inhibits the growth and spread of the bacteria. Superbugs like MRSA and C. difficile can be deadly. Every year, more than 8,000 Canadians die from hospital-acquired infections. For years, they've tried to destroy the bacteria with chemicals. Unfortunately, the bacteria are very wise and they figure out in one generation to the next every 20 minutes they figure out how to resist these different chemicals and antibiotics. So we have a population of more and more difficult to eradicate infections. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Daniel Perlman was so impressed by Sharklet, he's spearheading the testing at his Colorado hospital and has joined the Sharklet team as a scientific advisor. And if we can reduce the amount of bacteria on the surface then we believe that's an innovative approach to healthcare. The sharklet film doesn't kill bacteria or viruses, but they don't seem to grow on the surface covered by the film. The shark-like ridges seem to be able to stop the spread of the deadly superbugs without the use of potentially harmful chemicals. All of a sudden people are starting to buy into this concept that there is something there as far as what that shark can, we can learn from that shark. Biomimicry discoveries in our oceans have not been limited to the shark. One of the largest swimming mammals on the planet, the humpback whale, has a few tricks to teach us about energy conservation. Here's this enormous damn animal. I mean, it weighs as much as 14 hummers, right? And it can do acrobatics like it was a, a dolphin. So how do these huge whales move so effortlessly through the water? The answer is in those huge, very efficient flippers. Look closely, see those bumps? Now look at the blades of this fan. Once you see it working, it's obvious, but everybody sat there and said, what the hell are those things doing there? Those things or bumps are called tubercles. They make fans more efficient and quieter. They can be used to improve the energy efficiency of all fans, factory, home, computers, even wind turbines. Fans that are installed out there consume something like 17% of the global energy. And the technology is manufactured right here in Canada. And the performance is revolutionary. I mean, we, put, we changed the leading edge on a, a wind turbine uh, set of blades and got a 20% increase in electrical production. And it's not just whales and sharks. Plants, birds, insects, even termites are all inspiration to help create more sustainable and healthier buildings, paints, even cosmetics. The possibilities are endless.
it's huge. It really is shifting mindsets. At the Ontario College of Art and Design, they now teach biomimicry. We're only just recently remembering that nature is far more complex, far more intricate, far more innovative on all sorts of different levels than we ever imagined. The audience for this is growing. People are starting to see it as an interesting tool uh, to use, to innovate with, and it's drawing people from all kinds of disciplines. Those who work in the field know that sometimes people think their ideas are, well, a little out there. Well, I would say there's uh, still a bit of surprise. We spent a lot of years with people sitting there saying, no way, not possible. But with millions of years of evolution on their side and proof that it works, biomimicry is booming. <laughs>